I'm Jose Sardui, your collector soldier for Collector's Cafe. Today we're talking all things military with comedian Ralph Figueroa. Let's talk collectibles. What did you bring? Mm -hmm. This is the cool thing about being in the military that yeah. we get to travel around. I would find these little mom and pop comic book places and I started collecting Robotech. I became a pilot because of Robotech. Really? Yeah. I brought Roy. Roy fuck hair. <laughs> um, <laughs> he was the uh, the leader of the unit. Yes, uh, he was the school, the, the school yeah. leader. This is Roy Fokker's uh, VF1. I'm nervous. Out. Uh, I have the biggest nerd boner right now. I bought his counterpart, Rick Hunter. I got the uh, the statue of uh, Rick Hunter. This is so the original Rick Hunter. I have the matching outfit at home. Hey! <laughs> this is the limited edition. Oh, hey, stop it. Stop it! Yes. It's got the missiles too. So this series alone is probably worth a couple grand. Right. I have two full sets of those. I was a huge fan of uh, Wolverine. I remember when I was in Germany, I happened to find a 12 inch uh, version of Wolverine in his, in his camouflage. What collectible do you wish you, would, you could find? There's a Boba Fett that never came into production, and it's about this big. Yeah. It's not even in color. It's it's a prototype, and it has this weapon that shoots, and it's a little projectile, and which is why they didn't make it. So there was only like six of these things. Wow. That would be my, my prize collectible. Good thing you came on the show because you can actually go on CollectorsCafe.com, and you can interact with other, other collectors? collectors. Yeah, and you can oh, get that's that Boba cool. Fett. Yeah. So Ralph and Girl, thank you very much for joining us. I'm Jose Sardui, your collector soldier, and that wraps it up for this edition of Collectors Cafe.